documentary of St Anne's High School. about mother gnanamma the founder of st anne's according to the words of douglas maxwell a true leader has the confidence to stand alone the courage to make tough decisions and the compassion to listen to the needs of others he does not set out as one but becomes one by the equality of his actions and the integrity of his actions and this is reflected in all its sense in mother gnanamma the founder of our institution driven with passion and nobly recognized among those who turn vision into reality was mother gnanamma a woman of unshakable faith like our blessed mother mary she was true to her name which translates to be wise mother born in the 19th century to a pious catechist couple in firangipuram mother gnanamma lived a life of responsibility and was later married to inaya a god fearing man she learned to place the demands of her life which increased with the birth of her five sons in the hands of god Tragedy struck her at an young age of 37 in 1959 when she lost her husband but she did not deviate from the paths of Christ and remained true to her responsibility of raising her five sons in Christian belief she firmly believed the words of Christ if anyone wants to be a follower of mine let him renounce himself and take up his cross every day and follow me luke 9:23 a remarkable turning point came in her life when she marched forward to translate god's prompting in her life into reality christ's sacrificial love was her driving force to serve the illiterates by opening schools for them Along with two other responsible administrators, Agatama and Arulama, she began her dedicated service. She also sheltered orphaned girls from the evils of the society. This gave birth to St Anne's Institution, founded initially for the education and nurture of orphaned girls. Mother Gnanamma was an embodiment of dedication. achievement determination sacrifice selflessness and hard work and has set an exemplary life for all of us she played a significant role in preaching the gospel to the poor and the destitute prayer was her weapon when confronted by the challenges of life her trust and dependence on christ drove her to the epitome of success making her mission a memorable one milestones in the journey of st anne's high school education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world the journey of st anne's school began in 1965 in a rented building in vijayanagar colony congregation of sisters of st anne csa remained committed to their mission in spite of lack of resources and through discouragements in 1967 the management was able to run the school from lkg to class 7 st anne's grew to its high school stage in the year 1972 73 and was accorded permanent recognition 
by the state in the year 1974. The first batch flew with flying colours with 100% results and in turn warmed the cockles of the hearts of teachers and the staff boosting their service. Realising the need for co-curricular activities and in order to inculcate scientific temper, the school built an auditorium and a library to promote their learning. The management also felt the requirement for a science laboratory which started in the year 1975. In order to cope with the blooming world of technology, the school inaugurated a multi-purpose hall and a computer laboratory to provide computer literacy to the students. It was not just the students, various training programs were conducted for the staff to impart learning of various modern tools to assist them in their teaching. With the growth of the school, a new block, Shalom, came into existence from the year 2008. The following year on, smart class technology was adapted, which paved way for creative modes of teaching through technology diverging from the conventional methods. Health is wealth and in order to safeguard the health of students in the year 2008, RO water purifying plant was installed in school to provide clean drinking water. Safety measures were taken with the installation of the fire extinguisher in the following year. We continue to look to our Almighty God for His divine blessings on growth of this institution and for it to shine in all its glory in the years to come. Alumni, coming together is beginning, keeping together is progress and working together is success. It is indeed our honor and pride to have our alumni around the world who are exceptional individuals making great strides in their professional careers and contributions to all arenas of life as scientists, engineers, entrepreneurs, managers, auditors and teachers. They still embrace the warm memories of their tenure in our school and most of them continue to keep in touch with us even to this day. Hi, I'm Mahalakshmi and I'm from 1996 batch. And today I am senior legal counsel at an IT development company. And throughout my career, I have started as a student of St. Anne's till my 10th. And after that, I have done my law from Nalsar. As a graduate, I passed out from Nalsar. And from there, I worked in UK as a legal counsel in a, a financial institution. And then I'm back to India, currently working as legal counsel at Value Labs. And for any career growth, there needs to be three C's. One is courage, one is capability, and confidence. Courage and confidence will be given by, obviously, your friends, your parents, your in-laws. But there is one thing which is very important in successful career. That is certainly capability. That is given at a foundation level. And St. Anne's has given me that kind of foundation. For me, for that confidence that I have in me today, I've been able to do a lot more than what any normal um, graduate is able to do. I'm able to take things forward with regards to my company, personal life, and also for what I am today, a successful career woman. That has been given by St. Anne's to me. I'm Shailaja Reddy. Uh, I've done my kindergarten to degree in St. Anne's Visionary Colony and Mehedi Patnam. So I'm one of the uh, longest duration student where I spend in the school and college. I'm very, very much grown as a bud and uh, to the bloom to the universities like uh, I've done my textiles from NIFT. Uh, I've, I've actually should talk about this syntax as I feel this is where I have learned how to be a good human first. Uh, I have a favorite teachers, there are many favorite teachers. Uh, one among them is Chinnamma teacher. 
she used to teach me Hindi basically, but I used to observe her every movement. Uh, she used to make us understand how a human being should be. She never used to tell ki, uh, okay, you do these studies and then go, that's it. She never used to say, she used to make me understand, be a good student and at the same time have your humanity. So I've learned most of the good habits from her and they're good teachers, many other, who have guided me in education too. Hi, I'm Dr. Sasira. I am, uh, I graduated from St. Anne's, 10th class in 1999. I'm currently working as a neurologist uh, in the United States. I uh, did my kindergarten to 10th class in St. Anne's, so it's been my home for 11 years. Uh, here's where I have all my childhood memories. Uh, it's been a really great experience. It molded me into the person I am today. Uh, it invited in me all the qualities, uh, hard work, perseverance, compassion for, for others. So when I thought about what I want to be after I grow up in high school, I thought I need to do something which I enjoy every day. I, I wanted to make a positive difference in people's lives, relieve them of pain and suffering. And I think being a doctor uh, helps me do this every day. And uh, I channeled all my energies, my hard work in this direction. And uh, by the grace of God, I'm a neurologist right now, as I said. Hello, everyone. This is Juvelia Javed and I was a 2010 pass out of St. Anne's Girls High School, Vijayanagar Colony. I am presently doing my third year of medicine from Osmania Medical College and I hope to become a cardiologist one day. Years have passed by but the memories are still fresh in my mind. I entered St. Anne's with wobbly steps only to walk out with confident strides. They say the struggle a butterfly faces to come out of a cocoon is what gives it the strength to fly. My school was something like that. When we entered St. Anne's, we were like caterpillars, hungry for knowledge. Then we were wrapped with the silk threads of wisdom and protected by a cocoon of safety and love by our teachers, then tempered with the tests of responsibilities. So one day, we could fly out into the world and make a mark. See, whatever you are now, it uh, depends on your upbringing. I strong So, it depends on my parents, my friends, but most importantly, my teachers. So, my upbringing will tell us future and our attitude towards our future and our strong. In 1983, lo, I passed out my 10th from St. Anne's Girls High School, Vijayanagar Colony. How did this uh, school make a difference to us? I think, the complete formative years, as well, man, uh, child uh, age, the adolescent age group, parku, complete ka depend hai. Teachers chepi na prati maat ani man, mano falakallo mudrin chukuni. Alla vidanga man mundh keli na puru man vyakti to mela undali, man attitude mela undali. Oka vijay vijayani ki dagger lok mela ali anti elanti um, steps these ko wali dagger ninchi. Man subject knowledge parku. Ante both vyakti to side plus the subject knowledge plus our determination and my killer instinct and my impression about what my positive points are. See, right in fourth or fifth class, I have decided not my because of my science teacher, I have decided that I'm very good in skin and um, science, so I should be for going forward in science. The same way. In 9th and 10th, we had this general knowledge um, and the moral science, which used to stress a lot on what should be our ethics. And in that, I have realized that I have a God's gift of memory, which is a page memory. So all these things about qualities about me had come out only when I was in school. And in the school, we used to fight uh, to be having lots of badges, which the incentives the school gives us. So I used to fight for having a first in class, plus Bluebells captain, plus the sports captain, plus the class monitor. So in this sort of environment, where your teachers encourages you and uh, pushes you towards what you want to do, tells you what is a positive side of yours and how to improve on your negative side. This is uh, the environment which every child should be having and I'm proud to be a Centanite and I wish all the future generations and the students of Centans uh, all the best for every endeavor in their life. We are proud to bring to light that our national award winner in art film Miss Tabu was a proud alumni of our school. When I heard that the St. Anne's English Medium High School, Vijnar Conley, is celebrating their 50 years Golden Jubilee, and I'm called to share my experience here, a beautiful smile raised 
in my heart, in my soul and in my mind. Because remembering those sweet memories, it is really an overwhelming joy in my heart. As I was recalling the days of these 12 best years, the day begins with a prayer. The anxiousness, the body texture where our teachers would guide us, everything is out of discipline. A kind of spiritual nourishment is given to every person in the campus. For a rich spiritual patrimony is given to every student. A special prayers for the Catholics and also not only for the Catholics, indifference of caste, creed and culture, religion. Every child is invited to pray in the chapel, to pray wherever the statues are placed in the campus. We are all are privileged enough to receive this spiritual nourishment where it will be followed with all other activities in the school. I'm Satya Prasad. I am from the 1968 batch and uh, it's very nice to be here in St. Tan School after a gap of nearly 48 years and I'm so very happy that uh, the school is celebrating its golden jubilee. Such a wonderful thing again. Well, there's so many things about St. Anne's I remember. Uh, but uh, one uh, thing for which St. Anne stood out was the sense of discipline which they instilled in the students. This was a school not just for education. It was a school which inculcated good moral values, respect for your elders, respect for your teachers, sense of ethics. And because we were in a co-educational school. We developed that respect for the ladies. So that has stood in good stead even now. So it is something which I have learned way back around 45 years ago when I was sharing a school classroom with lady friends of mine. And uh, we really started respecting them and that respect continues even now. So this is what St. Anne's instilled in us, a sense of moral values, sense of respect for the other gender and the discipline more than anything else starting from the assembly to the end of the school the stress was on discipline and moral values hi everyone my name is asad and i graduated from st anne's in 1989 from seventh class and probably we are the last batch of the boys and i'm sure now it's a totally girl school and I'm proud to be standing here right at the auditorium, as you can see. Uh, this is the place where we used to participate and practice all our uh, dramas and programs. And I'm so proud and lucky that I've been invited here to, set, to be a part of the uh, 50 years of celebration of St. Um, I'm a businessman. I basically own a chain of jewelry stores uh, named Mushtaba Jewelers. Well, uh, to give the credit to what I am right now, I would definitely say uh, St. Anne's is the place where I have been molded and three basic things I have learned from this school. Number one is discipline. The prayers which were conducted in the morning made us realize that God is above all and we should be disciplined. And number two is hard work. All the teachers here and all the team here, they were so uh, insisting on working hard that uh, that has really worked well with me. And the third thing is honesty. Being a good human is very important. Uh, and to be honest, it really helps you in business. Uh, well, my math and science skills really helped me become an engineer, but my passion for sales made me shift to what I am right now. Respected principal of St. Anne School, Sister Rose, teachers, students, and all my dear friends. It gives me great pleasure to speak about my school on this auspicious occasion of its Golden Jubilee. Let me introduce myself. I am Anuradha, student of the 1981 batch. I am presently working as a senior scientist in DRDO. I have very fond memories of my days in school. All my teachers, my friends and principal sister Philomena. 
I recollect the prayer from where our education in school started and all the moral values were instilled in us. The basic foundation for my education was laid down here. I developed a great interest in science and maths thanks to all my teachers. This interest helped me to go forward and become an engineer and a scientist. To all my juniors, budding engineers, doctors and lawyers who are presently studying in the school, the message I would like to convey is, I feel very proud to be a part of this great institution. Please aim high, think big, sky's the limit. Never give up until you achieve your goals in life. Then you will be a rising star and you will bring name and fame to your great school. I am Bala Nagadevi. I studied in St. Anne's Vijayanagar Colony from Standard 1 to Standard 10 and I passed out in the year 1984. This was the best period of my life. I used to come to the school along with my sisters who also studied in the school. It was next to home and we, it was a pleasant experience coming to this school. I fondly remember my principal, my class teachers and my subject teachers, the PT teachers and the supporting staff who were there in this period and with whose help and support we were not only imparted the education in all the subjects, math subject, core subjects, but also in the values, moral science is what we had and also physical education. These were so important in ingraining the right core value systems in us that today we owe it to the school for being what we are today. I am extremely thankful and I take this opportunity of the Golden Jubilee to wish the school the very best in all its future endeavours. My message to the students of St. Anne's Vijayanagar Colony is to keep working hard and believe in the motto of this school. Achievements of our school The institution has received many accolades through our hard-working students who have left noticeable mark in various arenas. In the 2013-14 academic year, Six of our 10 standard anites excelled in the SSE examinations with 10 GPA points. Our stars twinkled when our young space scientist Spriti Sarayu in 2013-14 and V. Akila Sai 2014-15 batch accompanied by Mrs. Sureka, our science teacher, were privileged among the few to visit NASA. National Aeronautics and Space Administration, USA. The school creates a platform for the students to explore various skills by encouraging them to participate in various intra and inter school competitions. Even for this prestigious Golden Jubilee celebration, almost all the students have come forward to display their talents in unique ways. Our goals. Time changes many things, but important goals stand the test of time. It is not our desire to vest on our laurels, but we aim to leave no stone unturned to launch our students into higher orbits. We aspire to employ innovations in teaching methodologies and usage of technology to enable students to receive and assimilate knowledge with joy, thereby trigger interest in their quest of learning. We shall continue to strive to make our students globally competitive. We are committed to encourage and endow every student in their lifelong pursuit of learning. We shall continue to joyfully strive to our utmost in maintaining harmonious relationship between the alumni and the staff of our institution. We aim to pursue and take inspiration from our stalwart Mother Gnanama's life 
who was a saga of dedication and determination, which stands as a role model for all of us even to this day. We endeavor to see a new generation who fight for sustainable development, which is a great hope for the future of our country. At this juncture, we express profound gratitude to our Almighty for strengthening us during the 50 years of journey and seek His blessings to carry the torch forward, making it glow brighter and brighter in the years to come. We take this opportunity to express our heartfelt gratitude to all our well-wishers, parents, students and staff for their support and cooperation rendered during the five decades of our institution's journey. May we all hold hands and stand united in our venture to make the young generation of our country explore and achieve their goals in every possible way. Unity is our strength and together wonderful things can be accomplished. Good morning to one and all. Standing before you is Firdu Sultana, a prouder knight. A significant milestone for St. Anne's High School has been reached. The school, which was established in the year 1965, now celebrates its Golden Jubilee. I deem it a privilege to give a brief message for the souvenir to mark the celebration of the 50th anniversary. Our artists and leavers will be of no avail if God Almighty showers his blessings on them. So the celebration of the Golden Jubilee is an occasion for all of us as an institution to first of all express our gratitude to God for the wonderful manner in which he has led us during the past years.